SocialBee's mobile app just got a refresh. In this video, we're showing you around the new app and how you can best use it to your advantage. Before we begin, let's talk about the instances where you would need to use it. Number one, universal posting, which you can find in your dashboard on the bottom right corner where you connect profiles. This is for when you're trying to post to networks we don't currently have a direct integration with, including Facebook groups, threads, Reddit, Quora, and so much more. Number two, fallback posting for when a post fails to publish directly on platforms like Instagram due to a setup issue or aspect ratio issue. We'll go through both options in this video, but first, let's make sure you download the Social Bee app on your phone and log into your Social Bee account. The app is available for both iOS and Android, so you should be able to find it quickly in your app store. An alternative to that is to navigate to your Social Accounts tab from your dashboard and click on the Download Mobile App button. There, you'll find versions for both iOS and Android. When installing the app, make sure you enable notifications for it so that you can act on them and finish your posting when you need to. In Social B, any of your connected profiles can be set up to publish via reminders, if you want to do so. To make this happen, from your Social Accounts tab, click on the pencil icon next to your profile of choice. Here, you'll see two options, direct posting, or mobile reminders. When you select mobile reminders, you'll see a mobile icon popping up in the left corner of your social profile, indicating that this profile publishes via mobile notifications. Also in your social accounts tab is where you can manage who gets reminders for what account. This is especially useful if there are multiple users in your account. Click on mobile reminder settings to choose who gets what notification. You'll be able to customize it for each profile if different users need to get notifications for different accounts or pick same for all social accounts if one user needs to get all notifications. Within the mobile app, you'll be able to see all of your workspaces and connected profiles. You'll see pending posts in your scheduled posts tab, which is where your posts will show up when it's time to publish them and where you'll find them if you don't act on a notification right away. The published tab will show you the posts you've published using the mobile app in the past and the Profile tab will allow you to switch between your workspaces or get help resources. You can currently use the mobile app as a companion app only. This means most of your scheduling work is done on the web browser version of Social Bee, and you'll be able to finish posting from your mobile app through the push notifications. In the case of universal posting, you'll start by creating the post on the web browser and scheduling it as you normally would. When creating your post, Make sure you select the universal posting profile of your choice and you'll see a mobile icon pop up in the right bottom corner of your text box. This will flag that this post is going through mobile reminders. When it's time to post, you'll get a push notification on your phone. Tap the notification and the caption will automatically be copied to your clipboard. The media file will also be downloaded into your phone. From there, you can redirect the post to the app of your choice and create a normal post as you would natively. In the case of fallback posting, you'll also start by creating the post on the web browser and scheduling it as you normally would. In the post editor, you'll be able to see exactly when your post is falling back on reminders. For instance, if you add a video but you don't select it as a reel, you'll see the mobile icon popping up in the bottom right corner of the text box, letting you know why this post is falling back on reminders. You can either solve this issue by making sure you're adding the correct visual, customizing for each profile, and selecting the right format, or allow it to go out via reminders instead. This will allow you to edit it natively in the app of your choice. Usually, when a post falls back on reminders, it does so because the media file doesn't have the right aspect ratio, size, or length for the platform you're trying to publish to. When it's time to post, you'll get a push notification on your phone. Tap the notification and the caption will automatically be copied in your clipboard. The media file will also be downloaded onto your phone, but you can also save it to your device manually if you want to do so. From there, you'll automatically be redirected to the platform where you were scheduling 
with the available options. The post will be opened and you'll be able to paste your caption and finish your posting. And that's it! If you run into any issues while using the mobile app or any Social Bee feature, please reach out to our team at success at socialbee.com.